How's it going, everybody? Today, we are going through the new seasonal claims. Not the scoreboard, not the score pages. Still don't really know what to call them, but we do have seasonal goodies to pick up on the scoreboard. As I've done in previous seasons, I like to wait until I hit rank 100 before I go through and start claiming things. In previous seasons, it was much more straightforward. You're going from rank 1 to 100, claiming everything along the way. Over time, they changed it so Fallout First members were able to get more rewards. And once again, they're changing it. And this almost feels similar to other games that offer these seasonal boards. But the advantage of this board is that you can go through and claim the things that you want and avoid the things you're not interested in. Before I do start claiming anything, I'll mention that at the bottom you'll notice it says I have 2,470 uh, tickets over here to be spending. I've only claimed the three boosters, the five, the 10, and then the one that adds up to the 25%. So I originally was under the impression it would be 2,500 tickets. I'm not sure how that worked out, but that won't really cause an issue. I'm going to be going through these pages, claiming the things that I'm most interested in, and then things that I'm not interested in, I'm going to avoid for now. Once I get to the end, if I have a good amount of excess, I'll go through and come back and purchase some. We'll have to kind of play it by ear though. Without further ado, let's start claiming the seasonal rewards, starting with Percival's Pith Helmet. Might have a new hat to wear. Liquid Courage I will pass up on. I will claim any player icons even if I don't plan on using them. Add them to the collection. Cores I don't need, but I will claim that on a different character more than likely. The Big Feet Rug, sure why not. Mystery Bobbleheads. I have a couple of these and I just want them for displaying purposes. But besides that, I might not actually claim this. I might just skip out on that one. Peeper's Paint the double barrel and the cold shoulder. I forget what season it was, but we were able to get the cold-blooded cold shoulder paint. Now we have another one. I have to check that out. I will claim this. Uh, per card packs, I'm at the point where I don't need any more per card packs. So on multiple characters, I have whatever I need. I have more than enough excess. And then after all these, we have the rip daring outfit. Happy to take that, alright. Moving on to the next page. See, this is now the interesting question for me. Do I claim power armor paints or do I just leave them? I, in all the years playing Fallout, haven't really used power armor, at least for 76. In Fallout 4, other games, I will more readily jump into a suit of power armor, but for now, 45 tickets I think I'm gonna have to save for my own adventures gold bullion I don't need posters other things like that for the camp absolutely Jersey Shore vacation photo mode sure ship wheel is free the surfboard wall decoration set don't mind if I do nuclear key cards I have plenty put to the side the beach fence set. I was looking forward to this. 200 atoms, please and thank you. Hot dog sign. Again, anything for the camps, shelters. Definitely looking forward to that. The tropical shirt. Of course I'm going to get that. All the different encrypted all over it. Legendary modules. Absolutely. Cores I'll pass on just because cores from doing so many challenges or not even challenges but events with the community I'm set on it's just modules that I'm hurting on tiki music box probably like a small little display thing speaking of displaying the surfboard shelf set I like this okay I was normally using the uh, metal shelf to display things but maybe these tiki statues maybe that tiki music box could be displayed on those shelves, probably the right size for that. Score booster, I'm going to pass on for now. A free player icon. Glass float lights, so I assume this is like the the floaters. Different 
colors based off of them. 200 atoms, again, always welcoming the atoms. Unfortunately, with this new seasonal claim, uh, once you hit 100, you're not claiming atoms at the same rate you were able to. Every 10 levels, you're basically getting 100 atoms, which is nice. But now, they're taking that away, but kind of giving us alternatives in terms of claiming things. At least it'll seem that way. We'll get to that soon enough. Another Peeper's Paint lever action this time. That looks nice. <laughs> Freaky. Imagine seeing something in the woods popping out like that. See a bunch of eyes. That's not a Snallygaster. Another poster, another player icon. Stamps are actually welcome. Considering we're still doing Expeditions Weekly uh, for the AC content, the new uh, plans they're releasing, if you're able to go to Giuseppe and purchase the cheaper plans, that means when you go into your expedition, you have a higher chance of getting rewarded one of the more expensive ones, so stamps are definitely welcome. Rip Daring Flag. Some more atoms. The Devilish Excavator Paint. See, if I was to use Power Armor, I might use Excavator. I might even use T45, considering that's the main set I've been able to accumulate different pieces for. 300 script, yes please. And now let's go over here and claim the cremator. I know a good amount of people in the community have been using this and having fun, have re-rolled theirs until they found what they were looking for. I'm going to have to join the club too. I do understand they're a little expensive on the, the ammo, but we'll have to make do. Ghost Rifle Peepers Paint. Part of me says avoid this one for now just because I don't really use Ghost Rifles. The lever action with the paint I might use. Uh, the cold shoulder I might use that as well. So for now I'm going to skip this one and then again I feel like what I might find useful or not useful might be the opposite of what someone else might be claiming over here. So this at least gives you an idea if you're going through a la carte and not selecting everything, how much you should roughly have left over towards the end. Some toy robot sets. This is funny because a lot of items that we've collected throughout Appalachia and then brought back to our display cases are now starting to show up in the game. So in previous seasons we had like the fan, the typewriter, things like that, the clean versions of those. Now we're getting the toy robot sets. And the chessboard display, the chessboard display is awesome. This is gonna be fun. We're gonna be able to display a whole lot more. I've seen a few people in the community already placing things with this display and then merging it into objects. I can't wait to get my hands on it. Ball buddies. It's not Wilson, but it's like Wilson's Cousins, I guess. Bullseye Trampoline. Let's see, Adelaide. Player Icon. Some Caps. And then Adelaide, the Ally. Alright, we're kind of like halfway through the pages here now. Have more than, let's say, half the tickets that I started with, and I'm personally being picky on what I choose. All the display items, um, camp items, shelter items, things like that, I'm more than likely to grab, even if I might not use them down the road. I'll probably find a use for it. Uh, score boosters, rerollers, I will pass on for now. Cage sign. Some more atoms. Carry weight boosters, I will skip on. The Peeper's Paint for the Auto Axe. I will definitely be swapping my Auto Axe from the Red Upper Paint to this one. Raider Cages. And then we got the Construction Loader for this one. Next page. Again, I'm going to be avoiding any sort of power armors for now. Repair kits, no thank you. 
some free atoms. Scrap kits, I have more than I need. Tearing binoculars, I don't feel like I need these or will use these, but I will grab them. I'm not sure if this is a binoculars paint for the binoculars you use in the game or if it's a display item. I have no idea. Jersey Devil's Horseshoe Rug. The Cremator Peepers paint. I like this little horseshoe. The flare, the Jersey Devil's Shoe Flare. Some more script. Script is always a welcome sight. Keep fueling those rerolls through legendary crafting. The Cryptid Skull Backpack looks freaky. It's almost like whatever hide was used to make this backpack. The, it almost makes it like the backpack's going to be moving. It might still be alive. All right, a few more pages to go. Um, even if I'm not interested in this specific paint and I like the uh, Peepers one, I'll still claim this one as well. 200 atoms. The mods. I know towards the beginning of the season people were like, hey, how do I get all the mods? Um, it's interesting the way this weapon was introduced. Instead of the you know, weapon and the mods and all that coming out at once, you first unlock the weapon, you get used to it, and then down the road you get the various mods for it. More modules, please and thanks. Legendary script. Lunchboxes I'm going to pause on, just because with Gold Bullion I could always purchase lunchboxes that way. I do have a good amount of lunchboxes put to the side for the earlier game, mid-game players, stuff like that, you know, be more useful. But if you've been able to accumulate them for a bit, they're not as shiny these days. <laughs> Speaking of shiny, look at this shiny metal water boiler. We'll add that to the camp. Seen a few of those placed around Appalachia. Cores will pass on the paint for the T65. Power armor will pass on wallpapers, a welcome sight. Pass on a few of these. Actually, this one's free. If it's free, it's for me. A field research poster? Sure. Research, as they're over there chilling on the beach. Pump action shotgun. I might not use this one, but I'll still claim this one, just for the sake of grabbing it. I may pass up on others that I'm more likely not to use. Heavy mod for the cremator. The player icon. This looks like it's straight out of Call of Duty. And the world of cryptids trunk. Alright, just a few more. Brahmin corpse. Some more atoms. The good luck emote. There it is. I've seen multiple people use the good luck emote in the community and I was eagerly awaiting to unlock it myself. A lot of times we might need to cross our fingers before we roll certain legendaries, acquire certain plans, things like that. The wet floor sign, another item that was collected recently and was brought into an item you can actually display in your own camps without having to go, let's say, into an expedition to collect them. Mystery magazine package? I'm not, what does that mean? Is that three different magazines you might get that are random? I don't think I've claimed anything like this yet, so I want to potentially display that instead of opening it. Another 5,000 caps, I'll take it. That brings me down to 1,000 tickets. So right now I'm at 1,000 tickets remaining. Uh, and I am still going through a few more pages before I hit the post 100 uh, claim pages. I should still have a good amount based off of what I'm looking at, but we'll see. The Autopsy Table Chemistry Workstation for 50. The Grass Roof Kit is one of the things that I was looking forward to the most out of all these. I have a few ideas, and then I think a couple of my camps in the mire might actually blend in a little bit more with something like this. Another photo mode. 
kind of outline, we'll take that. Another mod, some more script. And I normally, when I start these videos, tell people make sure you don't have too much script on you, too many caps. You want to make sure you're not at cap cap, at script cap. But we're also getting less this time around too, so bear in mind. The, score gr the scoreboard grind is a little bit more catered to what you want. At least that's what it seems like. And then we'll get this plasma caster paint. I've actually just started using the plasma caster after all these seasons and have been having a lot of fun with it. Jersey Devil Shooting Gallery. That puts us one page closer to the end. Devil Stein. Add that to the collection of our Steins. Another freebie. Free is for me. Rerollers, I'll pass. Scouts banners. I'll come back to that. Lunch boxes as well. Adams, always. Beachy Guinevere player icon. And then this might be the last mod that you're getting for the cremator. I have to double check on the next page. And then the homemade xylophone. Alright, just one more page. With 690 remaining. Straight to the script. Straight to the caps. The atoms. The per coins. That's quite alright. I will grab any... What is this framed? Oh, it's the wall art for this season. That's cool. Seems like it's a little... Stretched out compared to the other ones that are more like square or... Not as... I'm actually curious to see how large this is on a wall. I'm not too sure. It'd be cool if some of these had a display where you could click it and it would show you exactly what it looked like in the game. <laughs> so for the jetpack, I personally don't even use jetpacks either, but I will make sure that I claim this so it is available to me if I ever do choose to use them. Another player icon. So now, the next two pages are the bonus pages. The last one is telling me to reach 150 and claim 95 season rewards to unlock this page. And now this page has the more expensive pieces. And because I have 620 tickets left over, if I was to do just a rough guesstimate of what I could pick up, if I pick up the Pine Barrens Cabin Kit, we're left with 420 tickets left with that 420 chemical color mods that might just be visual we already have a visual thing for that but I'm not too sure so let's just say I picked up this one picked up this one that would put us at 300 picked up this one 200 100 and then that would leave me with either picking up one more of these or having to grind out for some of these others. So it's interesting to see exactly what I was able to unlock today. The very last page is kind of like, this is the next objective for me. I've gone through and done a majority of the seasonal score pages since, or scoreboards since they've come out. And now that we have pages to claim instead of scoreboards, we have kind of a new let's say method, a new strategy, and I will be going from rank 100 to 150 and beyond the season. Once I hit 150, I will be revisiting this page, recording another video, and I only care about modules. I don't think I would grab anything else on this page. Uh, maybe just one or two things here or there if I decided I really wanted maybe just to pick up re-rollers once for next season. So next season I can get to 100 that much quicker I don't know I'd have to kind of strategize a little bit but for me the only thing that looks useful is legendary modules so now if I was to hit let's just say another 50 levels if it was supposed to be what 25 per level if it was supposed to be 2500 that means I would end up with my current tickets if I didn't spend anything I would get what 1250 plus the 620 we'll just round we'll say 1800 tickets if I was to then do my 
quick math on this. 1800 tickets and now these 10 modules at a clip if I was to buy them for 75 a pop I would be able to buy or I would be able to purchase let's say 24 or so which would then translate to 240 modules which is a good amount of modules so now I personally am still interested in claiming the previous pages so I'm not gonna have all these extra tickets that I uh, had before so let's just say I spend all these by the time I get here I'm just gonna do some rough guesstimating here if I have only a thousand tickets I would still spend them all on modules and at 75 a pop that would give me over a hundred modules that would give me closer to 130 modules whereas in previous seasons I wasn't able to acquire directly what I want so I know on the surface it might seem like this new seasonal way of claiming rewards uh, might be taking more out for our claims but I actually think this is a pretty straightforward way of making it where the person playing the game gets to choose what they want but at the same time somebody who waits to claim them until they hit 100 until they hit 150 like myself might be able to strategize a little bit better for those that are going through the scoreboard and just picking up everything as they unlock them by the time you get 100 you might not even be able to claim as much as I did today because you might have went for the random gold bullion here and there so these are just it's kind of food for thought keep it in mind other people that really want to collect every power armor paint under the sun well you still have all those to factor in this was definitely an informative session for myself and I hope it was for others as well I do hope your seasonal grind at least for this season is being fruitful hopefully you're getting the ranks that you're looking for the levels and all that it's also interesting because this post 100 grind it's gonna take a little bit to get to 150 but I eagerly await however many tickets I will be able to claim when I then just hit claim modules claim modules claim modules again for somebody like me that's been in the game that has thousands of cores put aside cores are not useful but for somebody that every day they're getting their max script they have more modules and they know what to do you know like maybe you need to run more events but a shortcut might be to just buy legendary cores outright so keep that in mind and after all that just like our previous score claims I would imagine when you leave the page you should see maybe some things popping up the script you're getting the gold bullion you chose to claim the caps you're able to pick up stamps and all that goodness all right thank you guys for jumping in checking out what we got going on thank you for supporting the video the content over here on the YouTube side of things if you're newer to our channel our adventures definitely subscribe keep an eye out for more goodies like this i cover patch notes i cover a few different things related to legendary crafting re-rolling weapons gear into the best form that they can be hopefully at least and now that we have the uh, the good luck emo i can at some point use the cross your fingers but for now one of these i will catch you guys in the next video i'll catch you in appalachia you guys have a good one and take it easy everybody